As you guys know, a couple weeks ago, me and Jack went to Predatory Fins to look at some awesome and rare fish to buy for our tanks. And when I tell you guys this is my favorite fish store on planet Earth, it 100% is. They have the absolute coolest stuff there. I'm talking giant arapaimas, giant catfish, big arowanas. Rod even has a giant saltwater pond that has sharks, groupers, and big, big moray eels inside that. I mean, it is absolutely awesome to look at. Did I mention they have fly river turtles? Still want one of those. So after looking around the store a little bit, me and Jack enjoying all the fish, enjoying all the absolute monsters that they have in their tanks, we both decided we were gonna get some albino arowanas. Now after we bought our albino arowanas, we both brought them back to Jack's house and I actually put mine in his tank because I had a haircut that day and I did not wanna leave him in the bag. So I thought, you know, let's just keep them in your tank for a bit and then I'll bring them to my tank once everything is set up because I also wanted to make sure I had a, the correct lid for my tank so the arowana could thrive in there. After a couple weeks, all the fish are doing great, including both arowanas, they're all eating great. Aside from the occasional bullying from the largemouth bass, yes, I'm talking to you, Tiny the Bass. But besides all that, I think it's time now to officially bring him to the fish warehouse so I can keep him in my tank, and then once he gets big enough, he can go in the fish warehouse and become a freaking monster. Let's do it. We are at the crib. We are at Jack's crib. We are at the fish guy headquarters. The fish guy freaking headquarters. This is where my, oh my God, these fish are giant, dude. Wow, this is where my arowana is that I'm looking in the pond. The fish are so freaking big now. This is insane. That tarpon is huge, dude. He's growing so fast. I, I cannot believe how fast he's growing. Even Jeremy the catfish, Jeremy the catfish was double his size when we got that tarpon, and the tarpon has outgrown Jeremy the catfish, which is very surprising, because catfish usually grow much faster. We gotta feed these guys, right? We gotta feed. Holy cow, guys, that tarpon's huge. That tarpon is absolutely mega. I freaking love him, bro. You guys know what it is. I swear, it's like an addiction. Every time I come by this pond, you have to throw some food in there. It's, it's a must. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful. It's so weird how the tarpon loves the pellets, like more than shrimp or tilapia. He enjoys pellets like a koi. He's just pretty much a giant koi. Giant friendly koi is our tarpon. Great guy. Now guys, our fish have been looking extra freaking cool in this pond. I'm thinking I really want to do a video where I want to do a video like this where the whole beginning I'm taking just crazy cinematic video underwater, above water with really high quality cameras and video all my fish. And then I wanna send it to two different editors that I'm gonna have to pay for. I really wanna do this video. Let me know what you guys think about it, but I wanna get the sick footage and I wanna try to find two badass editors on the internet and have them edit all the footage and see which one is better. I wanna do that. I think you guys would enjoy it. Really awesome kick-ass footage of the pond and get two pro editors to edit for me. That'd be pretty dope. Let me know what you guys think about that video idea, but let's, let's give these guys some grub. I want some grub. I think I should just throw it right in the middle there. Here comes the poon. I don't know where. Watch. And there's the tarpon. He's got to ruin everything. He has to ruin everything. He goes nuts. Get those teeth in there. I like to feed these guys, man. I like to feed them a lot. Oh my god, he's like skying out of the water. Absolute tank of fish right there. They are getting so big. They are getting so freaking big. I think it'd be sick to, to get some cool footage, like really, really close up, slow mo, cinematic footage of the tarpon jumping out of the water and stuff. Absolute beast. I think you guys would enjoy it. All right, the pond has been fed. You guys know what time it is now. We gotta rescue uh, our buddy from Jack's tank. I, we haven't named him yet either. We gotta rescue our buddy, the albino arowana that I got from Predatory Fins. I got the white version. Jack got the yellow. So let's go rescue him from Jack's tank. We gotta bring him to the house. And Get him in my tank, because uh, it's time he joins joins the crew at the house. And we're gonna be moving him into the warehouse at some point, so let's go see how Jack's tank's doing. All right guys, so this is Jack's 55 gallon tank. He's got a couple fish in here. He's got a red tail catfish. He's got two albino arowanas. One's mine, one is his. He's got a couple peacock bass. They're really, really cool and aggressive, and one super freaking aggressive largemouth bass that we had to put in jail for a couple days because he was being mean to all the other fish. So, honestly, really, really cool fish. This tank, I think, is way cooler than my tank. My tank at home, it, it needs to be completely shut down and renovated. It's terrible. So, don't worry. Stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be doing that very freaking soon. Before we take this arowana out, I think we, uh, I think we should feed some of these beasts because you got to see them eat. They're pretty freaking aggressive. Let's feed them.
We've got our shrimp, cheers. Just kidding, that's disgusting. Now watch these things eat, they're absolutely savage. This is what we're working with today, ladies and gents. We've got some little shrimps for the little fish. Now hopefully, I cut them up the correct size, but we have a guest feeder today. I want to get some really cool shots, slow-mo. As you guys know, I'm addicted, for some reason, I'm addicted right now to getting dope shots for you guys. I love it. So I'm gonna film and Brooke is going to feed. Yes, you heard that right, Manic to Brooke. Are you ready to feed? I'm applying for graduation. What? Brooke is applying for graduation. Let's get some congrats, Brooke, down in the comments for graduating college. Good job, Brooke. Now she feeds fish. She got a, she got a college degree in fish. I got a college degree in being a fish guy. So tips for everyone out there who's going to college, get a fish guy degree. All right, guys, Brooke is ready. Roll the damn clip. white one, Jack got the more yellow one. My guy actually didn't eat very much. He's a little skinny dude, cause he's got too much competition here. Tiny the bass is savage. He eats everything. That's actually a good thing. We're gonna get him in this bucket, take him to my house, then maybe he'll eat tonight at my crib. So we can get big. Cause eventually I want this thing going into one of our ponds and to get this big. That'd be epic. Let's get him out. Jack, if I accidentally scoop your R1 out, dude, I can't tell the difference between them. But hopefully uh, I got the right one Yeah, right that's here. yours, I think. He's gonna be such a pain in the ass to get out. This guy's gonna suck to get out. Yes, got him, got him. Okay, put it back on. There he is. I'm gonna get a better clip of him at my house so you can see him really up close out of the water. Now, I didn't put too much water in the bucket because these things are notorious for jumping. So low water, I don't want him jumping out because last time I transferred my eel back here, he jumped out of the car in the back seat and I had to grab him with my hands and he was so slimy like a booger. So uh, I don't wanna touch this guy because I don't like to touch. So let's get back to the crib. We got some stuff to do. I gotta show you some stuff. So let's go back. All right, y'all, we are in transit currently to the fish warehouse and the fish guy room is there. So we got to put this Erwan in there. I hope he's going to do terrific in there. Him and Johnny Oscar, they're going to be best buds, dude. And he's got minnows to eat, plenty of them. I asked a poll the other day what you guys thought about the cool slow-mo shots. I know I've been obsessed with them, like I mentioned before, but the reason I like doing them and I'm getting all these cool gadgets, like a gimbal and all this stuff and lights is because I want to make the videos feel like you guys are there. Like you guys are with me, standing with me, watching right next to me. I want you guys to feel like you're a part of the whole experience, like you're right there with me. So I don't know, maybe I'm going to be have different style videos, but I want to make it feel like you guys are sitting right next to me in this car right there and uh, coming along a ride with fish guys chris so i hope you guys have been enjoying that i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna keep rolling some cool b-roll I, I just like getting i want to get creative with my stuff i want to be different i want to get creative and i really hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as i am because i absolutely am loving it Here we go, baby. We've got our arowana. He's an absolute gorgeous arowana. I want to give you guys an up close look at him out of the water so you can see how just how pearly white he is. But we got to fix something with the tank because there's a huge problem if I put him in the way it is right now. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, this video just went absolutely horribly wrong. Let me just say that this is not good, first of all. The arowana did not make the eight minute drive to my house. How is that possible? First of all, he did not even eat when I fed because he didn't get any pieces, all the bass and everything got him and the other I want to actually ate. And the red tail, he did not get any pieces. He's, he was the slowest one in there, survival of the fittest, he didn't get any pieces, which I thought actually was a good thing. And I made sure of that because I was watching him the whole time and he did not even have one piece of tilapia or shrimp. He did not even have one piece of shrimp. Secondly, I used the same exact water from Jack's tank with that he was already in. So he was already in that water, used the same water in the bucket, put an aerator on the, on the bucket to make sure he had good oxygen, and I put a cover on top to make sure that he didn't jump out because air are jumpers. And I live eight minutes away from Jack's house. So how is it possible 
that as soon as I get here, I open the bucket and he is upside down. That blows my mind. This is so annoying. I was so excited to put him in my tank in my room with Johnny the Oscar. I was absolutely stoked. And I filmed this whole video for you guys. I'm trying to make it really cool. And this happens and it absolutely sucks. So I'm not gonna just like not upload this video. I wanna show you, I wanna be straight up and raw with you guys about what just happened. I cannot believe that just happened. I mean, I have transported fish. You can go back in our videos. We have transported hundreds of fish, including big monster fish that we keep in, that we put in coolers and have aerators on them. And we've taken them 45 minutes to an hour away from the house and they all are fine. So it just blows my mind that an eight minute drive and the arowana is not alive anymore. It, that is insane. I've done this a million times. That has never happened to me before. Not once. This is the first time that transferring fish has ever gone wrong ever once. Not one time has everything, anything ever happened. I don't know what's going on with my luck recently, but I just, that is just so annoying. That is extremely frustrating because that's not like a cheap fish. Once again, that, that is like, that is like the weirdest thing in the world. Like that is not normal. That is some sort of mysterious universe signal or something like why in the hell the arowana was perfectly swimming eight minutes he was right next to me in the car i checked on him he was right next to me in the car and for, and i did not put the lid on tight the aerator was still going i just put the lid on just like i didn't like clip it on i just laid it on top so he wouldn't jump if he jumped out he would just bounce on the top but even though he was never going to get that high i just wanted to make sure so the aerator was pumping the water was the same i have I, i'm shocked i have no idea no freaking clue that this video just took a 90 degree turn that I'm so annoyed. He was gonna look so good in that tank. I can't believe it happened. I'm so shocked. So I don't even know, arowanas, I've had the worst luck with ar arowanas, especially this. This is like the weirdest thing that's ever happened. Eight minute drive, I've transferred millions of fish and this is the one that's gonna, that makes that makes no sense to me. I'm so shocked right now. I don't know what to do. I, I, I didn't wanna end the video like this. I, I, how am I supposed to end this video? So that arowana was supposed to go in this tank with Johnny the Oscar and the minnows, which I think he's eaten a lot of, but now we just have Johnny the Oscar because the arowana didn't survive an eight minute trip. How was that possible? Dude, I, I am like literally shocked. I think like someone's playing a trick on me or something because that never happens. How, I don't even know how that's possible. Like the, first of all, the arowana was better off in my bucket than he would be like in a bag from the fish store because I had the aerator pumping, I had the same water he was in, in a bigger space. It, it, this is, it blows my mind. This is like the weirdest thing that's ever happened. And that's absolutely horrible. Wow, totally a fish transfer gone wrong. The one and only fish transfer to go wrong, of course, is with a $300 arowana or $200 arowana. I don't know what's up with my luck. That is so unlucky, man. I really want him to go in this tank. So I don't even know how I'm supposed to end this video. Thank you for watching this far. I wanted to put him in that tank so bad. I don't, I don't even know what the hell to even think. So I don't even know how to end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. I'll try to figure something out, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace.